there is a lot in a name. Hey guys, thank you for joining me for another WP Crafter video and this is going to be a quick one that I see a mistake that many people make with their WordPress sites, okay? So I'm going to show you how to change your name in WordPress. Sounds simple enough. It is pretty simple, but let me tell you why it matters and why you need to take a look right now, right this second to see if you're making this mistake with your WordPress website. So. I'm logged into my WordPress dashboard right here and I go to a post. So I'm going to click there and I've got my default hello world post and I'm going to click on view. Oops, got it right here anyway. And uh, don't you love the name of this website, WP Lover? It's actually just on my local machine. So don't go to WPLover.com. Uh, anyways, here's that default post, hello world. Here is the date and here's some meta information. And right here it's got a little image of a person and it says test user okay that is your username okay you don't want it to say whatever your username is you don't even want anyone knowing what your username is because that's what hackers use to hack into your website they already know the username they can start hacking away at the password so um, this video I'm going to show you how to change it but here's the why okay you want to change it number one for security like I just explained uh, but secondly you want to do it for aesthetics maybe but SEO purposes, this is an awesome opportunity for you to slip your keywords in that you want someone to type into Google to find you. So for instance, if you are a uh, dentist in the city of Yorba Linda, you might want this to say dentist Yorba Linda, something like that. So I'm going to show you how to go ahead and change that. So let's go back into our WordPress dashboard under users. It says all users, add a new user. But what we want to do is edit our profile. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now when you scroll down, there's something here that says nickname and it's required. Now currently it's set to test user, which also happens to be my username. And I don't like that. So I want to say dentist. And actually for for if you're it's like a personal blog or something like that, use your name. Uh, using your name's good too. It's kind of adds a personal element. Um, but if this is a business website, there's no reason you can't slip your keywords in right there. Dentist your Belinda. Now when you do that, you're not done. Don't go click and save yet. Right here where it says display name publicly as, the option is my uh, username. Don't want that. But now when I click on the drop down, it's going to also give me the option of what I entered for nickname. That is what I want. So I'm going to choose that, scroll down, click on update profile. Now when I'm at that post and I click on refresh, bam there is my keywords this was by dentist your belinda in every post that you create that shows the username it will say dentist your belinda now many um many websites wordpress themes you're going to have that username in a blog post so this is something that you want to go and do right now so, so anyways thank you for watching and if you like this video Please give me a thumbs up. If you had a question about this, leave me a comment and I will see you in the next video. Hey, we'd appreciate it if you took a moment to click on the thumbs up button and to share this video with your friends. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and take a moment to go over to our website, leave us a comment, ask us a question, but sign up for our newsletter. Thanks again for watching this video and make sure you connect with us on these social networks. Thank you.